Hello and welcome. Try this problem on your own, and when you're ready to solve it with me, press play and we'll do it, we'll do it together. Okay, the zeros of the function f of x equals 3x squared minus 3x minus 6 are which of the following? Let's put some context to this problem really quickly. Um, so if we have a graph with an x and a y axis, x and y, and we graph this function, uh, since x is squared, we know that the graph is a parabola. And we know that this parabola is a smiley face because A is positive. And we know that it crosses the y-intercept at negative 6. This, this number is here. 2, 3, 4, 5, and looks like at 6. So it's crossing it here. And then from there, somewhere, right, it's going to cross, right, it's going to cross the y-axis, the x-axis, excuse me, in two places. We don't know where those are precisely, right. Oops. We don't know exactly where they are, but we can make some inferences. Here, I know, I know what the answer is, of course, I just solve this problem, but we can, I'm just doing a rough sketch to get the idea across. The idea is that the parabola will cross the x-axis at two places, right? And these places are called the zeros or the roots. They're called the zeros because the height of these two points is zero. They're called the roots for the same reason. So we're trying to find where those points are. So one way we could do this is to plug this into the graphing calculator. It's not really my favorite way, but um, it's quite useful to know this at least. So press the y equals button and enter this in, clear off any old functions, and we will enter our equation. 3x squared minus 3x and minus 6. Enter. Now we go to our graph. Now you might not get lucky and see this, so if you don't see it, hit zoom and then standard 6, and you'll see it. So here they're looking for the zeros. So if you press second trace, choice two is for zeros. And all you have to do is go to the left and the right of your estimation of where the points are here. So my cursor to the left a little bit of our first root, enter. Then to the right, right, or below in this case, the root. And it will ask us to guess, and there's our first root. When x is negative one, y is zero. That's our first root. So our second root, second trace, go to zero again. And we go to the left of our second root. You want, you want to get a little bit closer, as close to it as you possibly can. Um, don't go crazy, but just make sure it's reasonable. There's a reasonable distance, x, excuse me, enter. And then the right bound, enter, enter. And here we get our second root, where x is 2 and y is 0. So our answer is choice 4, negative 1 and 2. Algebraically, though, you can solve this just as quickly. So using the algebra, we set this up, and we say, OK, we want our roots. That's when our height is 0. In other words, that's when the output, f of x, is 0. So that's 0 equals 3x squared minus 3x minus 6. There's a common factor of 3 here, so I divide everything by 3. And 0 equals x squared minus negative 3x divided by 3. That's negative 1x minus 6 divided by 3 is minus 2. Now, to solve this, what I would do is factor it, right, in a factored form, and I get um, x minus 2 times x plus 1, because at negative 2 times positive 1, that gives us negative 2, and negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1, so this factors out. Now we have a product, that means we're multiplying this value with this value, we're multiplying x minus 2 and, and x plus 1, and the result is 0. The only way that for that to happen, to get a product of zero, is if the first number is zero, or the second number is zero, or both numbers are zero. So if x minus 2 is zero, solve for x there, x would be 2. That's our first root, right here. If x plus 1 was zero, our second root would be when x is negative 1, which is what the graph showed us. And there are other ways to solve it, but that's just 2, the algebra and the, and the calculator. Thank you.